Enduring family of fast, Matt Mossman, the Chief Endurance Officer over at Endurally. Do you ever feel brain drained? And do you know why? Well, because it's life and life is draining. But the good news for you is there are certain supplements out there can, that can supercharge your brain power. Kind of like that Bradley Cooper movie, Limitless, where he takes that little smart pill and does all crazy stuff with the stock market and can act at the speed of light like a super intelligent Superman. But kind of like that, but not really. But kind of. So there's a whole new class of supplements out there called nootropics. Uh, kind of old news, but we're going to talk about it anyways because I got a question about it the other day. So, nootropics are a type of supplement that can improve cognition, mental acuity, mental alertness, mental clarification. Basically, if it has to do with anything in your noggin, these certain nootropic supplements might be able to help you. Now, so what we're going to really discuss today are some of the more popular nootropic supplements, how much you should be taking, and the ones you definitely want to avoid. So let's cover about five of them today and uh, I'll put a more comprehensive list on the blog of the other list of nootropics out there. So the first nootropic that I usually recommend is choline by tartrate. Now choline acts by increasing choline in the body which is basically converted to acetylcholine in the body. Acetylcholine is uptaked into the brain and basically acetylcholine acts as a neurotransmitter so it basically causes your brain to fire a lot quicker and experience that mental clarity. So with the choline by tartrate you want to do about one to two grams daily. I usually like taking it about 30 minutes before a workout just to get that focus factor going on. Along the same lines as choline by tartrate is alpha GPC. Now, alpha GPC basically does the same thing. It increases choline levels in the body, trans again transferred or converted to acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter, and again, bang, 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 bang. But also, the alpha GPC has a really interesting mind-muscle connection. So if you never tried alpha GPC, it's actually pretty amazing. Everything just kind of feels in sync with your brain and your body. Now, with the alpha GPC, dosages you want to go for are about 600 to 1,000 milligrams daily. And again, you can take this about 30 minutes before exercise if you want. Next on the list is Huprazine A. Now, Huprazine A actually works really well in combination with the first two mentions of nootropics. And here's why. The Huprazine A actually inhibits the breakdown of choline in the body, so the available choline pool is basically greater and stays that way longer and is not broken down as quickly. Now, with the Huprazine A, you want to go with about 50 to 200 micrograms a daily. And this amount really varies on the amount of the choline sources you're getting. So if you're doing a really high uh, amount or dosage of, let's say, something like alpha GPC, you would probably want to stick with that 200 micrograms of uh, the Huprazine A. Now, there's other nootropics out there like uh, Bacopa Monari, uh, Lion's Mane. We're going to talk about that, but we're going to talk about two other ones that you may not think of as like a brain boosting supplement, but I've talked a lot about before. One is uh, caffeine and a low dose of caffeine anhydrous can actually promote uh, a greater mental clarity or focus or alertness. Yeah, we, we all know that. Whatever. Caffeine's freaking awesome. No, no explanation needed. Uh, the second one, and this may actually be surprising to you, is creatine monohydrate. Now, we usually think of creatine monohydrates as the gym bros getting swole and good effects for endurance athletes, but there's a new emerging body uh, of literature coming out that shows creatine can actually help uh, with memory uh, formation and cognitive function, especially as we age. And this really makes sense because besides creatine being stored in the muscle, some is actually stored in the brain too. So creatine for the brain power. So with the caffeine, the low dose, um, I would go about 100 to 150 milligrams. You don't need to go over the top for the whole like mental acuity, mental focus, cognition. And then for the creatine monohydrate, you can just stick with a standard dose of anywhere from three to uh, five grams daily no need to load or anything like that. So those are the five 
best, in my opinion, legal nootropics out there. Now, there's another class of nootropics that works a lot better, but they're kind of gray area and they're kind of legal, but not exactly legal. And I'm not going to get into these too much. I'm just going to say these nootropics belong to the racetam family. If you want more information, you know, look it up, but I'm not going to promote something that's, you know, maybe borderline illegal. So, that is all I have for brain boosting supplements for today, my endurance friends. If you have a buddy that's experiencing the brain drain because he has about eight kids, a busy job, etc., 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 please share this video with them. If you want other videos like this on endurance training, nutrition, supplementation, random musings, busting the BS, subscribe to the Endure Elite YouTube channel or head on over to the Endure Elite blog at www.endureelite.com. Home, get social with us on Instaslam and our super duper awesome family of fast Facebook page. And until next time, my endurance friends, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.